In this video, I'll show you how to troubleshoot a drawing tablet that is not working. I'll be referring to Wacom tablets a lot, but most of these fixes can be applied to just about any tablet that connects through USB. Before you plug in your tablet, you'll need to install the tablet driver. The driver is what tells your computer how to recognize and use the tablet. Without it, the tablet will not work properly. Maybe not even at all. The driver is free to download, and you can get it from the manufacturer's website, in this case, Wacom.com. Just be sure to select the correct product and operating system. It's recommended that you update your driver regularly, though if your issue started after updating your driver, that could be the cause. And in that case, you can uninstall the driver and reinstall a previous version. After installing the driver, you will need to restart your computer. If a missing driver was the reason your tablet was not working, then we're all done here. But you may want to watch the rest of these tips in case you encounter another issue down the road. If your driver has been successfully installed, you should be able to see the tablet control panel in your start menu. If you're using a Wacom tablet, look for the Wacom tablet properties or the Wacom center. If you do not see these, something went wrong and the driver did not install. You can confirm this by looking in your list of installed applications. If Wacom is not present, then something is most certainly wrong. Ensure you downloaded the correct driver file and try installing it again. If the control panel is there, but fails to open, try restarting your computer. If that doesn't work, uninstall and reinstall the driver. You may even want to try an older version of the driver. You can find an archive of the older drivers on Wacom's website. You can double check that the driver is working by going into the Wacom Center, and under the gear icon, click driver check. It's not common, but there could be a driver conflict or some other issue that needs to be diagnosed by Wacom. If this is the case, you can use the driver logging feature to generate a report to send to tech support. Now let's troubleshoot an issue where the driver is installed, but the tablet is not responding to the pen input. Most tablets require a USB connection to power both the tablet and transmit data to your computer. If your tablet is not plugged in, then that could be the reason it's not working. If the tablet is plugged in and the Wacom control panel is there, try unplugging it from the USB port and plugging it into a different one. USB ports are grouped together in buses, so you may even need to try a different grouping of ports, such as one on the front or the back of your computer. If that fails, consider trying a different USB cable to rule out the cable being broken. Maybe your cat gnawed on it last night. On that note, if your tablet problems coincided with your pen falling off of your desk or taking a dip in some water, Consider that the pen could be what's broken and not the tablet. You can order replacement pens online, just be sure they are compatible with your model of tablet. Another consideration is that some tablets can connect wirelessly through Bluetooth. If Bluetooth isn't working, try plugging the tablet in through USB instead of Bluetooth to rule out that being the cause of the problem. If the USB connection works but Bluetooth does not, check to see if Bluetooth is enabled on your computer then ensure that the tablet is fully charged and there isn't anything blocking the wireless signal like a desk or other objects. I find Bluetooth stutters and lags a lot when drawing, so if that's what you're experiencing, I'd just use it with the USB cable instead. Next, we'll discuss what to do if the display on your tablet isn't working. Screenless tablets like the Intuos do not have a display. This only applies to tablets like Cintiqs. Display tablets require two connections to your computer. The first is USB to transmit the data from the tablet. This may be USB-A or USB-C. If necessary, you can use an adapter to convert USB-C to USB-A and vice versa. The second connection is for video. This is typically HDMI, but it could be DisplayPort or USB slash Thunderbolt. Some display tablets can even transmit video and data through a single USB-C cable if your computer supports it. HDMI cables are easily broken, especially if you move your tablet around a lot while the cables are connected. Check to see if the video cable is broken. If it is, you can replace standard HDMI video cables quite easily from the thrift store. Other proprietary cables can be found on Wacom's website. On the topic of video cables, it is recommended that you use the same type of cable that was included with your tablet, because cables have different ratings. For example, some cables can transmit video, but they may only be rated for low bandwidth and cannot handle higher data rates like UHD as found in the high-end Cintiq Pros. Likewise, the ports on your GPU must also meet the system requirements for your display tablet. 
For example, HDMI 1.0 is not the same as HDMI 2.1, which has more bandwidth for UHD video, higher refresh rates, and a higher color bit depth. There are also different versions of DisplayPort, so consult both your GPU and tablet specifications to ensure you at least meet or exceed the requirements. You may also experience bandwidth issues with your USB-C slash Thunderbolt ports if the bandwidth is exceeded. This happens when you plug too many bandwidth-hungry peripherals into the same USB bus. For example, video capture cards, USB-C hubs, and webcams all consume bandwidth. You may need to rearrange how you plug in these peripherals or unplug anything that is not necessary to save bandwidth. And last, if your display tablet powers on and the Wacom control panel is available, then perhaps your tablet is working. You just need to configure your computer to work with multiple displays. Look in your display settings and see if the display shows up. If it does, you may just need to rearrange it in the display settings to make it accessible. I have a video about that if you want to learn more. There are lots of settings for your tablet, and if some of them are set incorrectly, that may be the cause of your frustration. For example, your tablet may be working, but your input appears on the wrong display. You can look in the Wacom Tablet Properties and look under Mapping to link the tablet to the correct display. There is also a display toggle button that can cause your tablet to jump from one display to another. You may have pressed this by mistake while drawing or handling the tablet. Press it a few more times to see if your cursor goes to the right display. It's not uncommon for the aspect ratio of your tablet to not match your display. You may want to correct that so it doesn't feel odd when you're drawing. And if you're using a display tablet and your cursor does not align with your pen tip, then you can use the calibration menu to correct that offset. Now let's explore some intermittent problems that may come and go. A warning message may appear that says the tablet driver was not found when you try to access the Wacom tablet properties. This happens when your computer goes into sleep mode. When the computer awakes, the driver may become unresponsive. To remedy this, the simplest thing you can do is just restart your computer. You can also restart the tablet service. From the Wacom Center, you can click the gear icon, then scroll down and look for a button to restart the driver or you can manually search in the Start menu for services. Locate the Wacom Professional service and click Restart, or you can open that service and then stop and start it. This used to happen to me a lot when I was using an older tablet on an older computer, but not so much now. It could be that this is an issue that only affects older systems, so upgrading your operating system, computer, or tablet may be a solution for this as well. Another intermittent issue is when the tablet moves the mouse, but pen pressure suddenly stops working. There are a number of causes for this. First, you can try the driver check and restart driver buttons in the Wacom Center. Second, try unplugging your tablet and plugging it in again, maybe even into a different USB port. Third, try restarting your computer. Fourth, consider your driver. Did you recently update? If so, you may want to revert to the previous version of the driver. You could also try updating the driver if you're currently using an older version because something else you updated like your operating system may have created a driver conflict. Fifth, it could be your art software that is causing the pressure not to be recognized. Your art application and the brushes you have selected must support pressure, so ensure that those are not the root of the problem. You may need to click something or change a property to enable pressure for a brush. If pressure works in some applications and not in others, you can go to the Calibrate tab in the Wacom Tablet Properties and make sure that Windows Ink is checked, because Photoshop, for example, needs Windows Ink to recognize pen pressure. However, you may not like Windows Ink being on, so if you want to learn more about how to use pressure in Photoshop without Windows Ink, check out my video on that. If you're using a very old art application, open the Wacom Tablet Properties and look under Options for Pressure Compatibility. You may need to adjust the pen pressure for compatibility with older applications that only support 1024 pressure levels. It could even be that pressure is working, but you're either pressing too hard or too light with your pen to detect it. Verify it is working using the meter in the Wacom Tablet properties, and try calibrating your pen pressure to make it more responsive. And finally, take a look at the tip of your pen. If it's a really old pen and you've never changed the nib, could it be that the nib is so worn down it's gone? If so, replace the nib and that may get pressure working again. All right, after all of that, I hope your Wacom tablet is now working. If it is, show your support for this channel by subscribing and becoming a member. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.